In this demo, we'll deploy an Azure VMware Solution private cloud using the Landing Zone Accelerator with Terraform. We'll log into the vSphere client to validate our SDDC components were deployed successfully, and we'll configure ExpressRoute Global Reach to establish connectivity between our on-premises data center and our AVS private cloud. At this point, we've already reviewed the enterprise scale landing zone design guidelines, confirmed the IP address space we're going to use, registered the Microsoft at AVS resource provider, and requested host quota. We've also installed Terraform, Visual Studio Code, and the Azure CLI on our admin workstation. See the links in the description below if you want to review those steps. We begin here at the enterprise scale for AVS GitHub repo, and we're going to click through to AVS Landing Zone, Greenfield, and Terraform to get a view of all the Terraform modules that are here for us to customize. We'll mostly stick with the defaults here, but we will make some customizations for regions and IP space. Scroll here to review, open up a terminal, and we use the Azure CLI to log into Azure. Easy login. That will launch a page where we can pass through our credentials. OK, we can close that, go back to our terminal, and do AZ account show to see which subscription is active. Great, that's the one I wanted to play into. So now I'll clone this repo. Navigate to that Terraform folder. Okay, view those files real quick. And we're gonna edit that terraform.tfrs file. And we'll do that by launching code. I'm gonna go to Terraform TFRs. We're gonna make some customizations. It will ask us to find a, a naming prefix for the resources that get deployed. The default of AVS is fine for our purposes. Uh, region is not. We're going to deploy into West US, so we'll change that. Uh, IP space needs to be customized as well, so we'll put it in the network that we set aside for AVS. That's 192.168.92.0 slash 22. AVS SKU, the default is what we want to deploy, the AV36 node. Host count of three is good. You need to change this admin username and password. We'll do AVS admin and a very secure password. We'll also need to customize the VNet address space, so we set aside some networks for this. For the VNet itself, it's going to be 192.168.92.0. 96.0 slash 24. Gateway subnet will be 96.0 slash 27. Batch and subnet will be 182.168.96.64 slash 26. And the jump box subnet will be 96.32 slash 27. Okay, we'll save and go back to our terminal window. We'll do a Terraform init. Terraform plan. And Terraform apply to start building. This will do one more validation and then ask us to confirm that yes, we want to deploy, and it will start provisioning resources. This will generally take two to three hours to complete. We've sped that up a little bit for the demo. Okay, and with that complete, we can go to the Azure portal and see it was deployed. In my resource groups view, you can see AVS-Jumpbox, AVS-Network, and AVS-Private Cloud were created. Let's look at each of those. Inside of AVS-Jumpbox, we have the Bastion service, Bastion IP address, and the Jumpbox VM. Inside of AVS Network, we have the AVS VNet, the Gateway, the Gateway IP, and the Connection Object. And in AVS-Private Cloud, we have the Private Cloud Object. So we'll click that. We can see status succeeded, so that was successfully deployed. And now let's log into it. We'll go back to Resource Groups, to the Jumpbox Resource Group, to the Jumpbox, and connect via Bastion. We'll provide the username and password that we entered earlier. and click Connect. First time we log in, we'll be prompted to share the clipboard. Okay, we're gonna start menu and launch Edge. Then we're gonna click back to the Azure portal. We're gonna open another tab so we can get to that private cloud object. Open up the private cloud object, and we're gonna to go to the VMware Credentials panel. And here we can see the web client URL, username, and password. We'll copy that web client URL go back here and paste it in. Accept these warnings, launch the client, copy the username, paste that in, copy the password, and log in. Great, we can see our vCenter, our data center, our cluster, and our hosts. So it's great that we can manage this from our jump box, but we probably don't want to bash into this jump box every time we want to make a change. So we need to configure connectivity between our on-premises data center and the AVS environment. And to do that through ExpressRoute Global Reach. Go back to the private cloud object, go to the connectivity panel, go to ExpressRoute Global Reach, and we'll add an on-prem cloud connection. And this will use an existing ExpressRoute circuit that has already been provisioned and is connecting our on-prem environment to Azure. And we'll get the ExpressRoute circuit ID and authorization key from our networking team. And I'll paste those values in. Okay, click Create. Wait for state to flip to connected. Okay, we should be good. 
So you can go to VMware Credentials again, copy this URL, click through the warnings, launch the client, and there we go. There's our vCenter data center cluster hosts. So we've deployed the private cloud object using Terraform, logged in to validate the vSphere deployment, and then established the connection between our on-premises data center and AVS through Express Route Global Reach.